Hey there, this is Akshay Nandan. Welcome back to a new video. This video I am po posting after one month, so I am sorry for being inactive. But this video is quite worthy for you to watch. And the title of the video, as you know, if I could start development from the scratch, what will be my process of learning mobile app development or even web development? And by these two, I mean that I am going to cover full stack development because currently at this stage, I am a full stack mobile app developer. So if I could start development from the start where I did not know anything about front end and back end and just middleware anything, I did not know anything in the college, how could I start if I had this knowledge? If I had this process knowledge, how could I start, right? So first thing that I want to tell you is that I would really, really, really focus on project based learning. I'm a big fan of project based learning and I have seen this in my life that when you start building projects, instead of just learning theory or watching random YouTube videos, just pick a project and start doing it. And I built my own uh, startup that is resumepal.app, which you already know, uh, I have built that without having knowledge of backend without having knowledge of cloud. But at the end, I deployed my app on cloud, I deployed my backend on the AWS, I built my own backend in Python without being a backend developer. I was a mobile app frontend developer, right? Flutter developer. But how did I build my own startup? I coded each and every line of my startup, even if I was not a backend developer, even if I was not a cloud developer, right? But I learned it using a project. So for me, that startup was a kind of a project, right? And I applied that project based learning approach in my startup and I built my whole, I coded my whole startup on my own, right? So the same approach I want to give it to you uh, so that if you are starting learning your development or if you are currently in your journey of learning development, then please start applying this project based learning approach, right? This is a genuine request uh, from my side. So I have scribbled down uh, these projects, right? So that I can just open them in front of you. So I have what I've done is I have divided our whole video or the complete journey into 10 stages, right? By this 10 stages, I mean that you need to learn development in these 10 stages. And for these stages, you can build the corresponding project, right? So uh, as you can see, so let's begin without wasting more time, right? So as you can see that our first two stages are for the UI. So I believe that first two stages you can denote to your uh, UI because UI learning is quite important because front end is uh, front end development is all about building cool and smart UIs, right? So let's, this is the time to uh, scribble, remove the first uh, two projects. Uh, that is, if I could start over learning my mobile app development, then I will start with an Amazon clone. Just go and see the Amazon app. If you are if you are learning mobile app development, just open up the mobile app of Amazon and just see how the bottom app bar looks how the tab bar looks, how the containers look, how the product tiles are looking, how they have designed the cart page, the favorites page, right? How they are, how they have made beautiful gradient app bars. How are they doing text styling, right? So this I would, I would learn through my Amazon clone because in Amazon clone, you have bottom bars, app bars, text styles, <coughs> cart pages, navigations, everything you have in the Amazon clone, right? That's why I will, pick Amazon clone as my first project for my first day. Definitely you should be knowing uh, language, how to write syntax in Flutter, or how to write syntax in React. After that only you can pick this, but this will be my first project in the UI stage. In the next stage, it will be my WhatsApp clone. Why WhatsApp clone? I'm focusing here on the chat basically. You can build a WhatsApp clone, you can basically build a messenger clone, but my main focus is on building a clone, the UI clone of a chat app. Why chat app? Today, chat has become an important part, significant part for all the apps. Open any app, you have support chat, right? If you're opening Amazon, you have support chat. You can uh, chat with the support team, right? You can raise tickets there. So I believe that chat is an important component. And in your development journey, whether you become a web, app, web developer or a mobile app developer, you will be making a chat definitely, right? So in chat, you uh, also start learning about rows and columns and your conditioning because you know that in chat apps, your messages are on the right hand side and the sender's messages are on the left hand side, right? So using this approach in the same view, 
you are learning how to uh, differentiate your sender's messages and receiver's messages. So this is a very important point I feel and uh, that's why I, I have put WhatsApp clone as my second project. Let's open up the third that is your logic building stage. Now, now you know about UIs, right? Now you have learned to build Amazon clone and WhatsApp clone or you can take Spotify clone or Netflix clone, it's up to you. Now it's time to start focusing on your logic building, right? So for logic building, I know that this is a very basic project, but still in 2024, in 2023 or 2024 also, I will still believe that making a calculator app is really important because in calculator app, your logics start improving. You have built the logic for addition of numbers, subtraction of numbers, multiplication, division, modulus, then percentage, then division by zero. You have uh, handled the exceptions, right? Division by zero is an exception. So you know about handling your exceptions, right? Now here also UI will be applied because in calculator, you have all your buttons arranged in the format of a grid. So rows and columns are again going to come here. So I believe that calculator is an important part for your logic building, right? So here you will be learning about applying logics and building logics. So now you have built your logic also, right? So you are aware about building logics. Now I believe that it's time to start with the CRUD operations. So this first thing that is your CRUD, I have again divided my CRUD into two stages. So this first CRUD is going to be your local CRUD. That means you're not uploading some data or retrieving some data from a database, the cloud database. You're just uh, adding your data in your local database that can be your list variables, or it can be your local databases, SQLite databases, Hive databases, right? So you have still not uh, reached to your uh, cloud databases, right? So for this CRUD, your first uh, stage is going to be building a student's note application. I would, I could have kept to-do application, but I believe that to-do apps generation is gone and you should not build any to-do app, right? It, it just not worthy, I believe that. So student notes application you can, be, um, you can make. It's again, it's kind of a to-do, it's kind of a CRUD, but I don't like building to-do apps anymore, right? That's my personal opinion. You can build it, but I don't just like building to-do apps, right? So student notes app, you can build it. So in this student notes app, what you can do is you can have a title, you can have a description, you can have priority, you can have uh, uh, some kind of tags, or you can create your own structure and just try to save that structure in local database or in list variables, try to retrieve the data, try to update the data, try to delete a student note, right? So this is kind of CRUD, create, retrieve, update, and delete. So this should be your next project, which you can build in your CRUD stage. Coming to the next project that comes in your CRUD stage, that is your expense tracker. And at this point, I believe that you should know how to connect your Firebase and how to work with Firebase. Firebase is a platform uh, which every developer know, and you should also know. Simple projects, startup projects, and small projects, medium scale projects, use Firebase. So as a developer, it's your responsibility that you learn Firebase as your first database, right? So Firebase is easier to start, that's why. is It is easier to understand what are CRUD operations, what are databases, what are no, uh, no SQL databases, what are SQL databases. So there is no SQL databases in Firebase, but no SQL databases are your real-time databases, that is your JSON database, and your Cloud Firestore, which is a collection document database. So all of this information you should be knowing at this stage, that is a CRUD stage two. And in this stage, you should build your expense tracker. So you should build an expense tracker for your own or for your family, right? In this, you should be adding your uh, cost, uh, monthly cost or monthly living cost or your daily living cost, then your expenses. And you can also add the reason for your expense, right? So this, uh, this will be your next project. And in this project, you will be learning how to connect your cloud database, right? So at this point, we have covered uh, kind of three stages you know how to build complex UIs, you know how to build logics, you know how to build or how to make connections to your cloud database, right? So at this stage, you have learned quite a lot. And at this point, I, I would say that uh, now you can say that you have covered the beginner level of development, right? A beginner level of development now, you know, right? Next stage, next stage is about your APIs. Now should, you should know about application programming interfaces. And for this APIs, I believe that you should build a news application because this news application, there are free APIs through which you can fetch the news data, you can show it in your user interfaces, you can build your own news application. Instead of this news application, you can build a weather application, 
you can build a numbers trivia application you can build your own cat stocks application jokes application it's up to you but i believe that news application is quite complex and building this project is going to help you a lot understanding the apis jsons responses request status codes http request do packages for flutter and multiple packages in react which i don't know but you should be knowing about uh, learning apis uh, in this stage and for this api stage you can build a news application so this will be my next project next is payments so integrating payments is a good way of learning in app purchases or in app subscriptions in your mobile apps and making payments through your web apps right so for mobile apps google and uh, google and apple have their own system that is in app subscriptions and in app purchases uh, but for uh, web apps and websites you can include stripe razor pay or uh, western union or some kind of uh, third party integration right so this will be your next project so this is not a project i have just listed down that you should be knowing or you should be making some project or if you have any project let's say have expense tracker just add a subscription just add some credit system in the expense tracker right just add subscription that for this you if you're using this feature you need to be subscribed to our premium version just add that right or just make a purchase that let's say if you want to use this feature pay us 800 rupees so you can do this using stripe right or in app purchases so this will be your next stage where you will be learning about making payments or just for your sake i can say that just know how to make third party integrations it can be payments it can be google maps right it can be some other way of third party integrations so this will be your next stage where you will be learning how to integrate payments let's see our next stage that is learning web sockets so web sockets is kind of a upgrade to the http request algorithm tcp connection right where it becomes a bidirectional connection so i'm not going uh, deeper into web sockets in this video if you want me to make a video on web sockets or back end concepts please write interested in the comment sections so that i know that you are interested in learning back end concepts but i at this point at this stage i will be learning about web sockets right and for this web sockets i will be making a real time chat application not a um, like i will not be making a simple crud operations chat application right make note this point i will be making a real time chat application or a game right so using web sockets you can make real time application that can be your chat application that can be your collaboration applications that can be your uh, game applications right so at this point i will be learning about web sockets so next thing is your audio and video streaming applications so i will be making a simple video call app just make an app and try to do a video call and audio call with your friend that's it but you should be knowing this concept of how a uh, data is streamed in video calling and audio calling right so next will be deployment very important because when you will be making full stack application you should be knowing how to deploy your backend how to deploy your uh, static website right or how to deploy your application to play store and app store right so this is a very important stage deployment and you can learn this by just uploading your expense tracker app or whatever app you build in the previous nine stages just upload it on play store and app store and whatever backend you build whatever the backend you build just uh, host that backend on aws or google cloud or azure right that will be your uh, task in this particular stage so uh, in this 10 stages we have learned how to become a master of front end and i also uh, i have not just mentioned more about backend but i believe that in all these stages apart from let's do some analysis some analysis for this backend so in this ui ui you cannot apply a backend for this logic building you cannot because at this time you do not know anything about backend crud local said no but for this crud yes you can have a backend instead of using firebase plugins or instead of using firebase packages just have your own server right that server you can build in node js express js python golang rust java spring boot any any language right but that crud operation this crud operation you can build a backend for and that backend uh, you can communicate with your front end and do the task right so i want to say that uh, just let me write it down you, here is your front end here is your firebase which is your database right this is my database so currently what we did we directly make a connection of front end with your firebase right okay it's not visible let me add your firebase right this is my firebase currently what we did we make a direct connection of front end and firebase in this crud operation stage what i am telling you just have a server in between so this front end is going to communicate with your server 
and this server is going to communicate with your firebase and vice versa firebase to server server to front end but the thing is firebase actually manages uh, this server side uh, things for you right so that's why firebase is called a, a back end as a service also right but at this point if you do this if you start learning your back end how to make apis then you can instead of using firebase you can use mongodb instead of using mongodb you can use a postgresql so you can switch databases if you learn to make back end right and that you can learn in this crud stage then apis instead of using news app news apis make your own apis work with those apis right so you can upgrade these stages like this instead of just making amazon and whatsapp make spotify make netflix make your own ui in figma just tell your designer friend to make your uh, make a ui in figma and just try to make that ui complex ui animations navigation something like that logic building you can upgrade this stage right so after completing these 10 stages just try to upgrade these stages that will be your step that's how you can grab a very good development job right so payments you can make advanced payments you can just have just learn how to make uh, uh, payment web web hooks right so what are web hooks just to give you an idea web hooks are like promises that you have make a payment okay i promise web hook promises that okay once the payment is completed i'm going to update the status for this user that hey this user has paid so try to learn web hooks in this payment uh, stage right so in this web sockets you can make advanced gaming applications figma works on web socket whatsapp works on web socket right so try to upgrade your projects audio and video streaming try to do music streaming try to do uh, actual video streaming like like youtube like udemy try to make your own uh, uh, education like a lms learning management system right deployment try to learn more about aws try to get certifications in aws right this was it guys i want to close this down here i hope you have got a very good idea that how would i learn development if i could start over so bye and best of luck in your coding journey in your development journey for your development journey and till the next video keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot